Yeah, but can you really say any of your decisions really count if they took place in a different dimension? I think you're fine. I don't think I don't think you're going to get in any trouble here. Okay. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another uh, standard video here. We're going to play some uh, of Ali, Eldra Ali Eldrazi, otherwise known as Ali Entrazi, of the Freshly Brewed podcast that we do. Uh, his Chromatic Blacklist, which is basically a mono blacklist with one Mirari Conjecture, two Niv-Mizzets, four Chromatic Lanterns, and a whole host of colored sideboard cards. So if like if someone goes like, what's like what's a card that like steals all your things, like a lost legacy type card, right? No one's playing those. Don't worry. Mnemonic about it. betrayal, I think. No, that's the that's the mythic one. Unmoored ego. Like if they go unmoored ego on any of your chromatic lanterns, like you just these you can't cast, which I guess isn't terrible. It is funny that we have thematic compass, but no, not a single island in the deck. Oh, we do have treasure maps, which make we'd have to make we have to make treasure maps that, that make clues. But like you'd have to literally flip two treasure maps and conserve six clues in order to cast a Nivmizit. Nonetheless, I like that Ollie thinks that Nivmizit is strong enough to uh, to play in a mono black deck. So we're gonna we're gonna take this deck for a spin and see how it does. It looks sweet. It does look sweet. It's literally right up our alley, I think, because this is the. Well, because Ollie and I obviously have very similar tastes in uh, in decks, which is why we literally do a podcast called Freshly Brewed. So, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> oh. Oh, good times, good times. Oh, we can discard and reanimate it. Yeah, God, Ollie's so friggin' smart, dude. What does Masterminds whatever do? Uh, search your library for a card, put it in your hand, or choose a card from your outside. So it literally searches your 75 to get a card. It's like a strictly okay. better Diabolic Tutor. And I don't use the term strictly better loosely because I think it's misused very, very frequently. Um, I think you mean... Wait, no, you're right. Yeah, it's strictly better. I thought you named the wrong tutor, but you did. You named it right. Yeah, Diabolic Tutor is the four mana one. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? I will see you in two days. That's kind of weird, right? Three days? Who knows? Who can count? Who can count? Time time flies when you're... Prince Ali, wow, that... Annihilator, Elzra, Babwa. That tequila smell is strong, boy. You want to give it a little sniff? I did. Oh, well, careful that what's the crack right here. Yeah, that, that's been there forever, though. It's not like... it's It's not... It's not a leaky crack. A leaky crack. <laughs> <laughs> that one gets you? No one wants a leaky crack. That's true. No one wants that. I played Treasure Map because unless we hit a land, this card doesn't do anything next turn. Whereas this could actually help us get a land, so. You're coming to New York? I am. I'm going to hang out with Elk Tears and the Draft Boys from Wednesday to Monday. You mean from Wednesday to Monday? That's what I said, right? No, you said Monday to Wednesday. Did I say Monday to Wednesday chat, or did I say Wednesday to Monday? Because I feel like the the, the tequila is already hitting Mike, and his his his, his hit me yet. His skills might be a little uh, a little in question. I feel like you're tequila shaming me. I feel like you've earned it. You know Rude Al? I don't think I do know Rude Al. <laughs> is that a real person? I heard Wednesday to Monday. You definitely said Wednesday to Monday. Yeah, you're... Oh, God, he's already smashed. This is unbelievable. How does Ollie's deck deal with this stupid Arc Like Phoenix deck that's, like, not fun for anybody? How does that happen? Bought him. Lando. Well, that's awkward. First game with this deck. Don't hit a third land. Good times. For how long is the streaming going on? Uh, I started around 3.30, I think. So two and a half hours? A while. It's been a while. So if you've just been sitting at home, I feel bad for you, son. You got 99 problems, but this stream ain't one. Or maybe the stream is one because you didn't get a notification. God, we're going real deep here. No, go away. Be a land. I'm not asking for a lot here. Apparently you are. God, apparently I am. I 
All right, I guess we're going to do it one more time. Because at least we get to flip this, dude. Flippy McBippies. Nope. It's still not a land. Riff, ref, street rat. Oh. I don't buy that. I don't know. I'm actually going to crack all these clusels. Yeah, Mike is drinking. Man, you cracking hard, son. Yeah, we're going to just play this while we can. Get rid of this dude. But I think he's... R Rude Al is a draft boy. He was inducted this year, though. Damn, I just got a new phone. I don't think Twitch is sending me enough... What's your new phone? I'm real curious what Elk Tears' new phone is. Gotta steal lead, got eight to live. Tell Mike when he has the time. Mike B. Do, 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 do. Gonna get a bird. Ooh, ooh. Gonna get a bird. Birdie bird. So we can actually golden demise and kill all your things? That's cool. Golden demise is a cool card. Cool, cool card? Yeah, that's what I meant. Is opponent's deck just a standard version of Isaac Fee? Yeah, well the the modern version is just a standard it's just a modern version of standard deck. Oh, you are, you're being snarky. I get it. I get it. Wow, how many of these are in the deck? Four? How many of these are in the deck? 21? Hmm. Solid ratio. Tell me when you have the time. One, two. I think we're just going to play Treasure Map and uh, Golden Demise. One, two. We don't actually have two black. That's amazing. Oh, wait, wait. We do, but God, it's terrible. So we can add one black? Oh, God. This is just cringy, dude. Wait, we can't even do that? Holy... Yeah, we can. You have one... You tap that one. No, it costs three and a tap. So one, two, three, and a tap makes a black, and then we have two mana. That's... That's... That's something. Yeah, one, two, three, and a tap, and then black. Oh, God. Fucking alcohol. I can't handle it. One, uh -huh. two, three, and uh -huh. a tap... We make one black from this because we have one swamp. Right, and then we make one of their black with your swamp. And golden mines cost three. Oh. There we go. We figured I it out. I thought you were just trying to do double black. I'm like, you, well, I you am, can definitely make double but black. But I also need another land. Just play another ritual? No, oh. thematic compass is probably better. A Richie ritual? I'm actually going to play treasure map here, and then we're going to keep up Moment of Craving and Scry. I got an iPhone XR120 I gave my black with Buck E's stick. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I kind of just want to kill this guy now so that you can't get your discount. That must be some strong tequila. Yeah, because he's a solid, uh, solid dude. A solid dude. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick-ass boy. Damn. That's what I was getting at, though. I got the latest iPhone. You know, Steve Jobs is my lord and savior. No, just kidding. Your lord I, and savior's dead. I have no... I, wow, I have no iPhone hate. I have a Galaxy S9 Plus, but I got the... I got the purple... I think it was, what was the, do you remember the color? You know what it was called? No. Uh, lilac. It's called Lilac. And I remember when I went into the store, he was like, what color did you want? Do you want the black, the silver, the blue? And I was like, let me get the lilac. And he's like, have you seen the, have you, you seen the lilac? And I was like, yeah, man, I've seen it. I know what it looks like. He's like, like he was trying to, not only did he not offer me the lilac at first, but when I asked for it, he was like, are you sure? Have you seen it? It's like pinkish purple, bro. And I was like, yeah, man, that's fine. I accept that. So yeah, I ended up getting the What are you, some kind of girl? <laughs> what? Oh, man. And I was like, yeah, dude, it's okay. It's lilac's fine. Oh, my God. Hold on. Do we have... We have an Ixalan opt and a Dominaria opt. This guy has no... It's, it's no class. It's no class. 
Oh, let's just get this crackling drake. That seems amazing. I mean, it's not too good for us currently, but... It's a 1-4 that draws us a card, Broski. Michael Zabrowski. I felt like that. I was like, bro, are you trying to like... Is your toxic masculinity dripping into my phone choice? Because I ain't about that. Also, Mastermind's Acquisition is an overwhelming card. I never know what I want to get with it. I'm always like, oh god, this is just a lot of decision making here. You can get whatever you like. I mean, that's, he's right. I can get whatever I like. I don't know what to get, though. One, two... I'm just going to play this. No, it's two? Oh, that's great. That's even better. So now we can both activate this and this. What a deal. You can get... Now we can pay three to add two. Yeah, it's still a good deal. It's actually you're paying four because you're tapping the land itself. So until you hit five lands, you're actually not netting anything. Oh, so we got a one for flyer. How does he ever even get damage in? He never will. You can do whatever you like. Is that what you said? At some point. I Are you already so. turned a little bit right now? Maybe slightly. Maybe slightly? You're not even sure? How will you know? Oh, I'll know. <laughs> Because I feel like you were like, you said Monday through Wednesday. And I'm like, no, no. No, no. Can you stop the stream and start it real quick so I can make sure my Twitch notifications are working? Yes. Hold on, let me do that. JK, I'm not going to do that. Chris, the, the, the title says all these chromatic black, right? It says a different title, right? Did I forget to update it? I cha Did I change the name without clicking update? Because that's really awkward. Probably because you're a dummy. God, I am a dummy. I wish I wasn't a dummy, but here we are. Alright, so they're playing a bunch of spells, but they're not really getting any, any dudes out. Lava Coil? That's rather rude. My dude. How dare he. You're not a dummy, I just... Oh, <laughs> dang it, Chris. You wish it was UMA? I mean, I think UMA's fine. I haven't loved it, but I think it's been... I've been settling into it, let's say. I think that's a good way of putting it. Settle in, settle in. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my settle in, Dad. I didn't tell you what to do. I was just singing a song. God. The song was a request, Michael. It was not. It was not. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. What a Blue story, cheese. Mark. I always wish it was Vintage Cube. You, Any format I'm playing on Magic Online, just assume I wish it's Vintage Cube. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, Thematic Compass is basically just a better version of Maze of Uh, I want to put you on the bottom. I don't know if it's better just because, like, you literally have to flip it. You got to do some work. Yeah, but in, command in Commander specifically, because that's what he was talking about. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your Commander conversation. Excuse me. It's okay. Excuse you me. You're, you'll be excused. Excuse me. I don't want to <laughs> interrupt your commander contact, bro. You can do whatever you like. Wasn't that the song you were singing? Who plays commander? Like, a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, that's like... I mean, it's... It's a pretty popular format. <laughs> Maybe you've heard... Perhaps you've heard of it. Stores usually have a whole day committed to it. It's single-handedly uh, responsible for a huge resurgence in the secondary market. What's my favorite UMA architect? I don't actually have one yet, to be honest with you. I haven't drafted the format nearly enough. I think I've done like four or five drafts in the format, so I can't really say for sure. You don't like blue-white sacrifice? Blue-white sacrifice? Mm -hmm. I don't... I, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that's a deck, but maybe. Mike can do whatever he likes. So they only have one Phoenix in the graveyard? Wow, commander players are LGS leeches, which is funny because they probably spend more money in the store. Yeah, that's, then that's regular, just completely false. That's Yeah, that's kind of a silly thing to say. Like, technically the more casual format players usually spend the most money on cards. It's usually the spikes that spend the less money on cards. I think I am going to keep that, actually. That seems good. Oh, wow, I didn't know that was flipping this turn. I thought it was flipping this turn. This, this coming turn. And they discard a card. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. They buy all these obscure cards. And yeah, I don't understand. Like that's oh, you're just teasing. Okay, good. Thank goodness. It's hard to tell because I could see some kind of edge lord coming in here and be like, "Commander players are local game store leeches." And I'm just like, "Are you for real right now?" Because you sound crazy. So if we pay three and tap this, we're still in, we're breaking even, huh? One spip ahead of the spotlight. One spip. Yeah, I don't know the actual lyrics. I just came up with one. Oh, spip is a good one. I I I can approve. Of, oh, I don't want to. No, I don't want to do blue yet. We're going to masterminds here. Scoop dupes. Do we want to search our library or search our sideboard? Let's search um, our sideboard. Okay. <laughs> Got him. I, I got to test commander players are not leeches. We spend quite a lot. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Commander is actually pretty expensive nowadays. For paper, anyway. You say it's expensive for paper? Yeah. I agree with you. Um, Assuming boom. you buy a competitive deck. Skibbity bop bow. Do we just take this as a comma? Which we can actually cast next turn? That's pretty hilarious. Star of Extinction? No. Might just be a, it literally might just be a duress. You gain tw twice X life. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We gain 24 life. That seems busted, right? Plus, we can add one more, so we gain, like, 26. Huh. I don't know what to do here. It's either I think it's either Sanguine Sacrament or just a Duress to steal a card in their hand. They only have two cards, and I don't think they actually have anything in the graveyard to flash back anymore. They don't. So, I think we're... I'm going to take the Sacrament here. I'll Sacrament you. Oh, do, w will you? Got him. What the hell does that mean? What a weirdo. So that just gains you life, and then it goes in the bottom of your library? Yes. Okay. So that one, you get returned to instant sorcery, then it makes a double the next time, right? Uh, the, first, the first trigger is return an instant from your graveyard. The second one is return a sorcery. Okay. And then until the end of the turn, when you recast an instant or sorcery, you may copy it. So, okay. The so <gasps> last version is a double. Oh, man. We can double it? Yeah, boy. Oh, God. We gain like 58 life. I don't think this deck can actually win in that situation. One jump ahead of the jump jumps. Two jumps, and that's just true. Three jumps. do 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 that's everything. Uh, let's get back Electromancer because making our things cheaper is pretty gas. And main phase, we'll play a land. We'll go one, two, three. Play a Lanterno. God, this deck is amazing. Ali and Trazi. search for a Niv Mizzet. You are a national treasure. Yeah? Uh, next turn we can copy it though. But we can't do both. So. Right, so this turn we should just go get a Niv Mizzet. Is it better to play this next turn or this next turn? Like no, definitely the double gain your life next turn. Just because it's cute. It's just gonna, well, no, it's just gonna win. I mean, it literally makes it so they can't come back. Like it pretty much wins you the game. Actually, we'll just uh, we're gonna go add one, two, three. Actually, do I want to do that? No, we don't want to do that yet. We just want to actually add four. One, two, three, four. Search your library for a card. Um, oh, it's actually cheaper. My god, I'm terrible at this. Alright, now we did it. Search your library for a card. Put it in your hand. Sure. Well, we're not dead like Crackling Drake Haste if we actually play Niv Mizzet, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which we can easily do. So we can actually go blue, 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 <laughs> red... Red. Also, we have Spires of Oreska, so I'm really not concerned with uh, Crackling Drake Niv We have multiple ways to stop a uh, Niv Miz or uh, Crackling Drake. This is not real, right? Like this. <laughs> How do we have a Niv Mizzet in play? Oh, Ollie and Trazi. Weird deck. Weird deck. Oh, we could have actually found a Banefire and just killed them, probably. Not for 18, I don't think, right? Well, because it doubles. Oh, sure. Oh well. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. This deck is amazing. I'm pl I've played this deck for... Well, yeah, Beacon Bolt's a thing, but we still have... 
we draw a card and we still have spires right so and we get to shoot them for one damage such value I could have shot their goblin guy too and kissed him another spell uh, but Nip is dead, so... Oh, right, right, right. He dead. So, like, even if they kill this, even if yeah, they counter it, they still... I definitely think this Nip is the strongest version they've ever printed. Oh, I agree. I agree completely. So we're going to play this. We're going to go add three. One, two, three. <laughs> add three. One, two... Three. Oh, you did forget the resub, man. What? The resub. Water Sports Drew, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, my it didn't friend. Go off. I didn't see it go off anyway. This feels like a lot of life. 19 times 2. Oh, we gained twice, so it's actually 19 times 4. Holy mother of God. This is 80 life. <laughs> Oh, God. Yep, let's just uh, do the things. 87 life, ladies and gentlemen. Your go. Uh, attack you. <laughs> Those are some buttery biscuits. Your mother's a buttery biscuit. Wow. Wow. I like that they're like, you know what, I'm going to play this out. Buddy, I appreciate your commitment. 87 life against the Arclight Phoenix deck. Yep, that'll do. I guess the next two cards were not good enough. They're like, you know what, these don't do it. I was hoping these would be the secrets, but... No. Nope. Golden Demise seems great. It kills all other things except for the Drake. The rest seems okay... Vraska's Contempt always seems great. Ritual seems pretty bad. Uh, I don't you know. Like Vraska's Contempt? No, I love Vraska's Contempt. I took out the Rituals. Ritual of Soot. No, you actually took out a... Oh, you just... No, this, there's one on the sideboard. Probably want to bring that in, right? Yeah, it's real good against Drakes. And Phoenixes. Phenigs. 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 Phenigles. We had, you added one more card? Yeah, it's probably going to be one Duress, maybe. Just because they're going to bring in, like, counter spells, I guess. Two cards away from drawing my 87-87. Dang, so close. One jump. at of Ollie and Trozzi. That's not true. He's a really good... Got third for the cues. What? Ollie and Trozzi... You guys will be pleased to know. Uh, Ali Trazi said got third, fourth in the cube. Was good for $2,000. I'll take it. SCG Con. Sweet. So Sweet. they were like cube drafting? Uh, there was qualifiers for a an 8-person 10k cube draft, and he qualified for it yesterday. Oh, nice. That's some walking around money. That is some walking around money, whatever that means. What does that mean? Do you guys know what walking around money is? I've never, I've never, I've never heard that. You don't know about walking around money? Hey, buddy, I'm talking to the chat. Excuse me. Hey, buddy, I can still hear you. That's rude. You're, oh, you're eavesdropping on a conversation. <laughs> I always use drop. It's not like it was moving a glass out there. It's getting aggressive. That's a good. That's a good draw. It's like the best draw on your deck every minute. It, every minute? Yeah. Every minute, this is the best draw on your deck. That's a lot of Magiano's money, indeed. That is. That's a lot of family style. So it's it's two per hundred dollars or twenty per thousand dollars. That's forty Magianos. That's, that's 40 family styles. <clears throat> you can just put that in a, in a family style account. You can just put it in a separate account, and that'll be your family style account. Everyone has a family style account. Well, they should. I wonder if they're, like... I don't really want to run this out now. Because they just do things, you know? Maybe they counter it. They negate it. So I'll just sit here and do nothing until you do something. I'll do nothing until you do something. They're the blue-black deck, and we're the mono-black deck, but we're the control deck, so... Hmm, that's cool. Mike, this is a pimp, I suppose. Does he go by Gator? 
Do you go by Gator? Every now and then. On the weekends, perhaps. Elk Tears, what kind of sushi do you get, buddy? Also, those are like my two loves, Thai food and sushi. I, I don't know how you pick. Yeah, we just had Thai food for lunch, actually. One jump ahead of the Electro Boy. Two jumps. Let's go to some place where they have both. It's actually pretty common. How are you feeling? All right. Okay. Do you think MCG is worth getting into? Um, yes. It depends on what you do, right? <clears throat> Throat got a little scratchy there. Like, if you want to play Modern, Commander, Legacy, uh, Vintage Cube, any of the cubes, yes, I definitely think so. It's it's super valuable for me. Even if you play Standard, I think the Standard decks are better represented on MTGO right now. If you just want to, like, play Limited or Draft and stuff like that, um, I think you should probably just stick with Arena. But I think both are being used for different purposes right now, and I think that's totally fine. <clears throat> Belschnickel. We just play a Belschnickel here. They probably don't have a reliable answer for it. Or we could Vraska's Contempt this thing and keep up a moment of cropping. This is a decision that we have to make. Like, this guy probably just blocks whatever, right? Yeah. Plus, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. If he dies, he dies. What's up, Albino Redguard? There's this place called Sil Silver Rice. They do these sushi cups that are really great, kind of like a poke bowl, but less overwhelming. Usually a spicy salmon variation. Oh, so you eat the fish. Okay, I got you. I wasn't sure if you were uh, if you were going to eat the fish there. Oh, tears, that sounds delicious. You like the salmon? You like the little I salmon? I love raw salmon. Yeah, if you're going to buy an MTGO, now is actually a good time because everything is really, really low. Not great for those uh, those enfranchised players with like ten thousand dollar accounts, but you know, like yourself, that was the implication. Yes. Yo, yo, what up, Drake? I don't like tie. That's why my shoes are Velcro. Hi oh That's actually I don't I don't hate that. I really do like Thai food, but the portions are tra are th 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 tiny. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> it's your boy. How did they kill this last time? Lava coil? No, lava coil costs two. Did they roast it? No, roast doesn't target flowers, right? What did, they ha what did they kill this with last game? It was like a one for one, right? I actually totally forgot what they killed it with. I can't think of a red card that kills this. Oh, it was Beacon Bolt. Oh, that's right. Alright, well they don't have that now. So I think we're just gonna do we're just gonna do the dude. Let's attack first to see if they want to block. They're like never blocking. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Uh blue and a blue and a blue and a red and another red and so many reds. Mountains are my favorite lands, so it's good that these can tap for red. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what this... this. Radical ideas. Radical! Alright, so we're just going to draw a card here. And shoot this guy for... I don't know, we just shoot the face, right? They're not going to play four spells here. Yeah, we'll just shoot your face. I doubt it. Like they're probably going to play three and bring out a phoenix. But even then, like, if they even if they go, like, lava coil, lava coil, we take ten, we draw two more cards, and we have double Vraska's Contempt in hand. I think that's fine. Okay, well, I don't think you can kill Niv-Mizzet now, because... You don't have Beacon Bolt mana. You, I don't know if you play the land this turn though. One, two, three, four, five, six. I imagine you have, right? Did the Roomba complete a job? 
I can't tell. I think I have to open my Roomba app first. I heard the noise. I did too, but it sounded like a good noise, which was nice, because I'm used to hearing errors. Error. All right. Shock. Shock Niv Mizzet. Well, I guess they are playing four spells. My regret is real right now. Like, they've just filled our hand, though. Oh, they're not. Oh, they just want to get through. And they have two phoenixes? Sure. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, we'll just block a Drake here. Oh, you're not going to let me block a Drake. I'm probably taking six here. We have double Vraska's Contempt in a moment. And a moment. So if we add one, two, three, and tap this, we're adding five. So one, two, three, tap five, six, seven, eight. We'll have eight mana, which means we can double Vraska's Contempt. That's pretty good. Do you play any console games? Yeah, I play tons of console games. If we just go Vraska Contempt, Vraska Contempt, aren't they dead? It feels like I they'd do be believe dead. so. Uh, add for the Swampums. One, two, three. Five mana. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, alright. So Vraska's eat this guy. Let's draw another card. Do, 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 do. Are you gonna counter this? Nagate. Oh, Nagate. Um. Yeah, just gonna keep shooting your face. You got it. And shoot your face again. One, two, three. God, we're one mana away. Make me feel one mana away. That's not how that works. Just kidding. Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? So you have to block the Niv Mizzet or you die. Oh, well, Mizzet's only 5-5, five, five, right? Right. Well, no, yeah, but then the, then the two tramples over from this guy. So if you block here, oh, you're taking trample. seven. Okay. Uh, which makes me wonder if like it's just correct to attack with this guy. So then you go to one and you literally can't play any spells or else you die. So I'm pretty sure we're just attacking with Belschnickel here. And you can go to one, but then you can't remove this guy for the rest of the game because you die. Yep. He also has to make sure we never play a spell again, so... Yeah. Or instant or sorcery or whatever. But now you still take two, you go to five, we get to keep both of our flyers, and you're dead to both of them. Oh, we got a discard? Maybe. Dang. Probably Swamp. I think it's probably Lantern, right? Oh, sure. Oh, we got it. Well, we got multiple choices, so there we go. We we won the game. Apparently, Belschnickel and Niv Mizzet are better flyers than two Arcbound Phenoxes. Did you know that? <laughs> how much how much tequila is in there? And how much? Let me see this glass. How much tequila is in there, and how much... Okay, there's ice. The tequila went up to about there. Uh-huh. And the rest was sodi pop. Ginger ale? Yeah. Gingy, gingy ale? Okay. How are you feeling? You missed my super long message. Yeah, I eat fish from time to time, so I'm not strictly vegetarian. Haven't had beef, chicken, or pork in over six years. Though, for real, honestly, stream as I'm slowly approaching 30, I'm kind of considering eating chicken again. I can't explain it. I just kind of miss eating it. I would make sure to only purchase from local NY farms, of course. I don't know. Whenever I have this idea, I usually watch this video and it subsides. It's heartwarming, not gross. FYI. Oh, no. All right. I'm going to hope it's... I bet it's about, like, chickens getting hugged. I knew it was a chicken hug video. Chicken hugs? What's this? Oh, it's adorable. Every time I see any animal video like this, I'm just like... <laughs> oh, I my can't. God. I can't, dude. Oh, God. My heart. What the kids like? Get out of here, little chicken. <laughs> okay, that's friggin' adorable, man. Oh god, my fucking my heart. I was jealous. I can't. Oh. Dead. I'm dead. Oh my god, dude. Well, it's time for my refill. 
Okay, don't don't like trip or anything though. I won't. How's your wobbling? Are you good? I'm fine. I say that now. Honesty stream. What do you think of Belschnickel and Standal? I like Belschnickel as a card. I think it's great. Um, I think if you have a deck, if the format's not super aggressive, where you're not gonna like, I remember playing it in cube and taking like six damage off of it, and then I was like, well, I guess I'm just dead now. You're welcome. Um, but also like I think in standard, it's not standard's not super aggressive right now, so I think it's actually fine. I love those videos, but I love meat as well. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to get into the whole meat talk, but you know. You okay with me jumping in the queue and playing? Yeah, Josh, go for it. Knock yourself out. Oh, Josh missed his window. Get wrecked. This hand is either really good or really bad. <laughs> Mike Bar Wobbly Boo bit. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. Are these are they not popping? Are the notes notifications not popping? Let me refresh it. I will keep this hand and hope that it's very, very good and not very, very bad. The only meat I eat is chicken and hot dogs. <laughs> That's like a little kid meat. I just eat chicken and hot dogs. I feel like Golden Demise could be very, very good here. Oh yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be demising. Demising for days. I understand the reasons behind not eating meat. I don't mind cooking veggie as well, but I really, really hate people to push stuff. Um, yeah, obviously. I mean, like, I don't, I don't, you know, it's one thing to like, I don't, I never try to push vegetarianism or anything like that on people, especially because I, I do eat chicken occasionally, but you know, um, mostly I find people, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. It's a, it's a weird conversation for me. And I don't think it's, I think it's too, it's too heavy to get into. Basically, my feeling on it is this, and then I'll let it go after that. It's uh, basically, it's weird to me when you look at an animal and you're like, it's worth taking the life of this thing simply for a taste of something. Like, to taste it, that's the only benefit, really. Because you can get the you can get the nutrients, the protein. You can get those from other things, from non-sentient beings. But uh, for someone to be like, no, I, I think I'm going to kill it just because it tastes good. Because I get a momentary taste sensation. That's worth it for me. And that's just a weird... It's, I think it's weird when you look at it like that. Because it's like, well... Eh, it's pretty trivial. Like, it's a pretty trivial benefit for the cost that you're uh, imposing on another creature, another being. Uh, I don't I don't think taste cravings are a biological indication that your body needs that, that specific substance. I don't think people are like, I have taste cravings for pizza. I don't think that's a biological indication that my body needs pizza. I don't think that's... Uh, works the way the way you uh, you're implying it does uh, Beyond Burgers are insane I actually like the Impossible Burger better than the, the Beyond Burger Be Impossible Burger is utterly ridiculous like I've had like I've had friends who had the Impossible Burger and they're like this tastes like meat I don't know what's going on what about my gains <laughs> I'm talking about like a woman. Yeah, yeah, you know, definitely that's true. And that's true. Like a lot of times if you're like, man, I, I, I really could go for this thing. Like maybe it's because you're thirsty or because you're hungry. Like, yeah, I agree. That's definitely a thing. But it's, yeah, not that, not specifically the way I mean it though. Anyway, as usual, we're all going to have different, uh, different feelings about meat and, and, and diets. So we don't have to actually get into it right now. We can talk more about the magic, the gathering that's happening. And hope our opponent doesn't have a counterspell, which they will. They will. We know they will. But uh, we're gonna fingers. We're gonna cross our fingeals anyway, and uh, it's gonna be sad. Yeah, never didn't have it. All right. T 
Taking a million, they draw multiple cards every day. Anyways, why you play with the... Yeah, they're not real. It's not real content. So, that's unfortunate. Blah. What are the odds they haven't... If they have another counter spell, we're just going to concede because this is... Yep, next game. Always a pleasure, mono mono blue deck. Always a pleasure. I'm going to attack you. It's not. it's not. It is not. I'm going to attack you with the most pathetic creatures in the format. Uh, and then you're going to... You are going to... Nah, I'm going to take the Bell Schnickel out. Take the Josie Vess out. We'll take a Karn out. Take two Karns out. I'm going to bring in Golden, this guy, Vraska's... And like, actually, I don't want the the Vraska's a little expensive. I'll bring in two duresses because I want to be able to actually snip the things from your hands. I guess that's the joke. It wasn't a pleasure; it was a displeasure. How much? How much tequila you got in that one? The rest of it? No, there's still some tequila. Left. Oh wow, because there wasn't that much left, right? No, I got a spittle left. A what? A spittle. A spittle or a spittle? A spittle. Because you said two different things, man. Spittle, spittle. Can you tell me about Rally Richie? He's the richiest rich that ever riched. Is he? Yeah. Is that is that documented? I just did it. You did it? But that doesn't mean... We're recording. It's video footage. It's <laughs> documented. Therefore, he's... I'm right. You're wrong. Shut up. God, he's actually right. I can't actually argue with that. So what did you bring in? Your mom? Booyah! Pepper Talk, what pepper do you recommend with tequila? None. <laughs> what pepper... Do you recommend with tequila? Uh, none. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Tequila is already pretty spicy on its own. Well then. Perhaps a bell pepper. There's a zero ah, on the Scoville scale. A bell pepper. Is it a zero? I think so. It is zero. Wow, it's exactly zero. That's funny. Michael, let me ask you a question about the bell pepper. If you were a bell pepper, would you eat yourself? No. No, he would not eat himself as a bell pepper. Good talk. Good pepper talk. Just woke up from a nap. What are we playing? Oh, what up, Iron Chef Sammy? My dad. Michael, if you were a pepper and you hollowed out your brain and stuffed it with something because you were a stuffed pepper... What would you put inside? Probably some ground turkey, tomatoes, corn, and something else. <laughs> okay, the, the speed with which you rattled those ingredients off. When you hollow out your body, I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, ground turkey, corn. What was the second one? Corn. Tomatoes. Tomatoes? So just like a, like a little pico? Yeah, a little pico-ish. Okay. Your body, your pepper body <laughs> Your pepper body sounds yummy. Do you think... Okay, rice? How about some rice in you? you oh, some, that's good, yeah. What if you put a little cheese on top of you and melt Ooh, you in the oven? That sounds delicious. Yeah, you'd be great. How do they... How is it turn three and they don't have anything yet? I'm, I'm confused. Almost like he's thought about it before. He's like... He sits in bed at night and he's like... What would I put in my body if I was a little pepper? <laughs> <laughs> Does that one get you? It kind of just looks like a beer now. It does look like a beer. It has a beer. It looks, or it looks like the ginger ale. God, that's a strong smell, though. I'm going to kill this because... Because reasons. Anybody else a little turned off? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't think yeah, so. Whatever floats your fancy. Hey, Michael, if I stuffed your body with rice and corn and tomatoes and put a little cheese on top would you eat yourself it does sound pretty good I'd, I'd be delicious oh man this is aggressive give me a land so I can play this eldest reborn and they can spell pierce it <laughs> Michael if I hollowed out your body <laughs> 
Oh, Jesus. Well, I do sound delicious, so... You tell me. Also, Eldritch Reborn is each opponent sacrifices and each opponent discards. Is that good for Commander? That seems really good, right? It's alright. Really? I mean, like, three other people discard a, a card and sacrifice a creature, and then you get to choose from any of them their graveyards? Well, it's not both, right? No, it's each opponent sacrifices a creature or a Oh, and then it's discard. And then each opponent discards a card. Uh -huh. And then you can put a creature from any graveyard or a planeswalker onto the battlefield. The last part's good. The first two are good, too. They sac each sack a dude or a planeswalker, and then they each discard? Almost problem is everyone has some crappy creature they don't care about to sacrifice. Whatever, man. It's okay, I guess. You're okay, I guess. You rubbing them cards together, boy? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Discard a card. Put it in the garbage can. Put it in the trash can. Trash can. You put it in the trash can. Michael B. So if we just get Niv-Mizzet, they can't counter that, right? They probably can't kill a Niv-Mizzet ever. Let's go. Have you ever even cast a Niv-Mizzet before? Stupid. What a dummy. What are we getting here? Oh, let's get a chromatic lantern. How about that? My dad. We're gonna get your dad? If I think if your dad was in the deck, you'd probably know it, right? Maybe. Maybe not. My dad. I imagine the oh, the you guys are still talking about snow. What's the snow you speak of? Yeah, I got my window open right now. It's like 70 degrees out. Actually, what what is the degrees now? It's got to be cooler now because the sun went down. What do we got here? 68? Woo! So close. So close to nice. Maybe we just get treasure map. I like a treasure map here. But then if they do have spell pierce, it's pretty bad. Let's get a duress. Right? I'm going to get a lantern. See if they want to counter this. They want to counter lantern, whatever. I don't care. Hey, now that my girlfriend is gone. Hey, Frank. Hey, Mike B. Hey, chat. What did I miss? Whew. The coast is clear. Have you opened a D mode yet in UMA? No, not yet. I would take a D mode, though. Oh, man. They wizard retorted my, my lantern. Play a guy so I can Elmister Born again. I dare you. Be prepared. That's from that's from the Lion King. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for tuning into Pepper Talk here. Quote: mm, Your pepper body sounds yummy. F. Why would you put my name after it? It's implied that the quote is from me. It's on my stream, buddy. God, you're such a nerd. What a dang nerd. More like nerd tears, am I right? Eh? I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Are you okay, though? God, oh my god, that, that skill is real strong. <laughs> what if we jokingly get another Masterminds acquisition? I'm just gonna get a duress. I just want to get a duress here. I'm gonna get a treasure map. God, boy, I'm so indecisive, aren't I? Yes. Uh, yes. I mean, we know they have a handful of counter spells, right? So... The problem is we can't cast these things without sadness. Oh, that was good. It resolved. I am subbed purely for Pepper Talk content. All right, well, that's good to know. It's good to know. Can you stop savagely beating Mike? No. But, I mean, I'll take it into consideration. I mean, probably not, though. He won't. Hey, buddy. Felipe just got home and he's like, he has to walk by the window and the window's wide open. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Wow, that's so weird that like, I just talked to someone on the outside. That's crazy to me. There was someone outside my house and I just talked to them as they went by. The world is a crazy place, man. Someone gets told Mike a D it's Demo, not Demode. Demo. Demo. So for demo for as in demonic tutor, 
Is that actually in there? Where, when, where? In that set. And what's in UMA? Yeah. It's also I'll, one of the box toppers. It looks real spicy. I wonder what that guy goes for. My dad? No. Oh, my dad. Okay. My dad. Do you like what I'm doing right now? No, I don't. Pepper talk. Uh, here's another pepper talk question. What pepper goes best with dark memories of dad leaving? <laughs> Uh, that would be the Carolina Reaper, as it'll burn away the memory. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. You heard it here first. The Carolina Reaper is the best for burning away your memories hey, man. of your absent father. Do me a favor. Yeah, man. Look at that D-mode. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, the, the, the D-mo, not D-mode. There's no mode here. Sorry. You're getting, you're getting caught up with the chat. Uh, the art is this is the this is the foil box topper one. Yeah, it's all right. It's got like a creepy dude on the back of it. it looks odd. I mean, it looks sick. I'm not even attacking. It's you know, like a hundred dollars. It's like a hundred. Yeah, it's definitely hundred bucks. I mean, the regular one's like fifty. So, Whoa. you're like fifty. Schnickles got him. Schnickles. Oh, Schnickles. Oh. You're doing real good, man. Pepper talk. Mike, which pepper would prefer... Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Who's the host of this show, bro? <laughs> I'm sorry. My mistake. How dare you? Do I come into your place of business and shit on the floor? I don't think so, buddy. Well, I mean, you weren't going to answer. I had to... I wasn't... You need to give me some time. <laughs> Pepper talk, Mike. Which pepper would Peter Piper pick if pickled peppers were not an option for him? Uh, probably the Serrano pepper, <laughs> as it is long and very good for picking. Okay, got a little weird there. <laughs> got a little weird with the response, but the Serrano pepper is what we're going with because of its longness, which facilitates picking. Nothing beats loads of rain, drunk Mike. <laughs> Okay, Frank. Fantastic. Did we? God, our deck is not doing anything here. But neither is theirs, I guess. So I guess we're kind of on like chocolate brains. <laughs> Ten. Why are mom and dad fighting bits? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, he's got mismatching islands. Yeah, nothing's nothing's Ew, good about this matchup. Nothing about this matchup is, is good. Am I just going to kill them with their own creatures thanks to this Eldest Reborn? Well, we can start drawing cards now because... Ollie and Trozzi, where are your cards? Where are your, where are your good spells in this deck? Pepper Talk question. Who really picked a pack of pickled peppers? And why has the government been lying to us for years? I am uh, not at liberty to discuss those details, unfortunately. Michael is not at liberty to discuss those details, thanks to his government contract. Would you say that you're... It's classified. Shut up, Michael. Everything is okay, Officer Mike. Just fell. okay. That's we're getting a little dark here. <laughs> oh God! Fell down the stairs. Uh, he ran into the doorknob. Oh, that's a traumatic compass. Just kidding. It's thematic, stupid. Dummy. Oh God. Oh, it's your boy. Go ahead, counter. I dare you. I dare you. You won't. They didn't. Hi, Pepper Talk, long time listener, first time caller. I need to know, are peppers a good resource for male vitality, or are we just are we all just chemtrails? I'll take my answer off the call, thanks. I don't really know how to answer that question, mm -hmm. as I am a globalist shill. <laughs> <laughs> I I appreciate your honesty, globalist shill. I appreciate the honesty.
This is the this is the high quality content you guys subscribe for. I bet. How you doing over here? You're really quiet for a drunk dude. What are you say to me? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll knock you out of your chair, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Oh, he's a belligerent drunk, I suppose. Mike, are you growing your own peppers? Florida has a good climate for that. I'm growing my own buds, boy. He's not growing his own buds. <laughs> Please don't listen to him. He's not growing his own buds. You don't know me. You he ain't know... been in my room. Please don't be growing your own buds in the house. Well, it's, they gotta get dank though. They get dank under the bed. Oh, is that why? Because of all your foot cheese? No, because it's dark. You stupid Mitch. Okay, you're being aggressive right now. I need a chromatic lantern stat. Well, that's good too, I guess. I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, good times. Good time. Peppertoff, if Alexa could actually answer honestly, instead of giving stock answers given to her by the CIA overlords, what kind of pepper would she be? A nice... What kind of pepper would she be? A nice... somewhat mild habanero. Why so? Hey, buddy. I make the answers. You didn't question me. I, d I did, though. I did. You're not allowed to. Oh. Only they can ask the oh, questions. I see. Let's do one of these zombies. This adds 10 mana. That's pretty insane. Let's Ritual of Snit. One, two, three. Getting rid of two Tempest Gins here is pretty good. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Except for that I have one more. <laughs> uh, fill up Pepper Mike with these bits before you cover him with with, with cheese. <laughs> I'm a bell scriber, Pepper. Is that, a, is that a real pepper? Are you guys fucking with me right now? Oh, it is weird that he's doing Pepper Talk without the hat. That feels really... Uh, it feels really off-brand. Oh, Mike, you forgot about it. Who? Mikey. Who's that? Me. Oh, you're speaking in third person. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, Pepper Talk question. How so? What? Oh, t oh ten hey buddy bits. <laughs> what are these swamps, man? Come on. Although, how much mana do we have right now? We can make 12. Uh, we we can, have all the mana in the world. We can make 23 mana right now. We could literally just bane fire for the win. Which is pretty insane. If we get a Masterminds acquisition. Welcome to Nightshades. Pepper Talk at night. Ask your deepest, darkest questions. Uh, but make sure they are family friendly and appropriate for on-air consumption. After dark. Just like peppers. I'm going to play a Chromatic Lantarno. Nobody cares. Your mother cares. She was telling me just last night how much she appreciates it. <laughs> Blue, a blue, a blue, a red, a red, a uh, red. I'm pretty sure they can't beat this. I, can't, I think the mono blue deck has no answer for a niv -mizzet. That's just my guess. Hey, Pepper Talk, I was made for loving you, Mike B. You were made for loving me. And I can't get enough of you, Mike B. Can you get enough of me? <laughs> huh. This is a family show. I don't think that's appropriate. Michael, please answer the question. Can you get enough? Of JT. I don't really know him that well, so I guess no. You can't get enough of him because you don't no, know I mean, him? I can get enough of him. So, yes. I don't know. Okay. This Ooh. is confusing. <laughs> well, I feel like you might have... I feel like JT might have been trying to entrap you, unfortunately. Oh, we have to play Duress and draw a card from Duress? Yeah, okay. I'm game. Hey, Pepper Talk. A uh, longtime viewer, Chris Furterer, says... If I wanted to feel good, what kind of pepper would I want? Hmm. What's a feel-good pepper, Michael? I think a nice... If you want to feel good, do you mean like as in... It depends on what you mean. If you mean just have a nice experience... He means feel good. You want a nice... You want a nice roasted... 
Jalapeno. Jalapeno, a roasted jalapeno for the field. for the okay. If you're trying to get a little But wait, there's more. If you're trying to get a little a little high. Are you going to are you are you trying to get a little high from the peppers you think? You want a ni- you want a nice Carolina Reaper to get you Did- going. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what do you think the Carolina Reaper does to get you high and get you going? What? How does that help? Would you say capsaicin? Oh, the capsaicin. You just overloaded with it. Or a ghost pepper. A ghost pepper was also. Uh... Oh, cause feel good. Yeah, Bustin was really. Uh... Oh. I'm about to bust. I'm about to bust. <laughs> Sorry, uh, he set it up, but I didn't knock it down. You done messed up, a a Ron. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! I apologize. You have been disqualified from Pepper Talk. How dare you? I will end your family. (laughs) All right, you've been reinstated. (laughs) You're goddamn right. If my dad was a pepper, he would be a ghost pepper since he was never... (laughs) (laughs) Me too, buddy. Me too. Oh, Lots of ghost peppers in the audience today. Sad days. Pepper talk. If I was looking to make a bong out of a pepper, what pepper should I use? Uh, probably want to go with a serrano, as they're they're nice and long. Okay, well that's. I was thinking more maybe a bell pepper, because they're they're similar to like an apple shape. But you know what? I am... you can really use whatever pepper you want if you set your mind to it. Okay, <laughs> maybe that's true. Is that your son? Yes, it's my son. We are seven years apart in age, and uh, I had him when I was seven years old. My child. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Hey, hey, YouTube watchers, don't forget to hit that bell pepper and subscribe. We accept you for who you are. Dang it. What? I dropped the card. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, so we don't have another land. I'm not a fan of what's happening right now. Scroll down the chat, boy. Oh, I don't feel good. I can never I can never tell if the sun questions are serious either. Also, I don't even understand the relevance of them. Like, let's say Mike was my son. Why does that matter? It's just a weird question to ask, I think. Okay, well, we don't get to play Magic this game, unfortunately. So we're going to 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to go to 7. If we Golden Demise, we get to kill these two. This guy survives. So, yeah, unfortunately, no lands that game. I don't think that's a deck flaw because we actually flooded the game before that. So, Josh, if you want to hop in the queue, you can do it. I don't know if you're still here or not. Pepper Talk. Sorry, not to be a Pepper Talk hater, but I can't help but notice the answer to most Pepper Talk questions are Jalapeno, Habanero, Reaper, or Ghost Pepper. Last I checked, there are over 50,000 Peppers. But also, Pepper Talk, what's the best Pepper to get the mood for making Whoopi? (laughs) Well, if you'd like a different suggestion, I don't like to make weird examples because I want the general audience to know how to get in and, and... and you, get these peppers. Why are you talking like me? I'm the host. I'm the you one who shut talks your like mouth. this. You answer normally. I answer however I want, buddy. Oh, God. The answer is the seven pot primo. <laughs> It'll get you right and fired up. Oh, dear God. Looking for some hot stuff. Are you looking for some hot stuff this evening? Are you looking for some hot stuff, Michael, tonight? I think it would be cool to see a father-son duo stirring magic together. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to be that father-son duo, so... Oh, I see. Look, we're both playing a bunch of flippy artifacts. Just like your dad. He flipped right on out of your life. You remember that? I do. I do remember that. Do remember? And it hurts. I'd appreciate it if you didn't bring it up. Well... We can just hit up the 7-Eleven after this and go see him. He's probably buying cigarettes there right now. <laughs> Pepper Talk. I was thinking about starting up my own Pepper Talk show, but I didn't want to get jalapeno business. 
Well, we appreciate that here on Pepper Talk. Uh, I feel like by even mentioning that, you really dropped the bell, though. <laughs> Pepper Talk, why was the sergeant's band so lonely? <laughs> That's a Sergeant Pepper reference from The Beatles, in case you didn't know that. Thank you. You're welcome. Pepper talk. It is currently 23 degrees where I am at, and my jacket is in the washer. What pepper do you suggest to keep me warm? I assume Gamaset is saying that he's going to dig inside of the belly of a pepper, like a, like like Luke did on on Hoth in the belly of a tauntaun. So if you're digging inside of a pepper like the belly of a tauntaun, what pepper would you use to keep yourself warm? Well, unfortunately, peppers aren't that big, so maybe yours it's not aren't scientifically possible. Well, a man can dream. A man can dream. <laughs> when Mike has a child, he can enter Team GPs under the little four family name. Oh, Jesus, I'm so cringe wow. right now. If I was listening to the primal stylings of John Coltrane, which pepper would go well with his incredible harmonic mastery? Hmm. I'd probably go with the habanero. Not too hot. Not too sweet. Habaneros are pretty hot, man. They're one of the hottest what peppers. Are you some kind of little baby man? No, I'm just going by the peppers actually exist in the... Why do you think they pair with mangoes so well? They just do? That's how flavor profiles work? Yeah. Shut your mouth. Oh, well, I guess you got me with that one. Pepper talk followed up question. Can I borrow the hollowed out Mike Pepper? You mean Mike's body hollowed out? You would like to borrow that? Is that the question? That'll cost you a high price. Here's a Pepper Talk question from the host himself. Uh, if you hollowed out your own body, could you let the chat s sneak inside of it and keep warm? I don't think I'm that thick. <laughs> I don't think the whole audience can fit in there. I guess we'll find out. New Hodge Goulash, she's got a good one. Is pepper spray a suitable replacement for an actual pepper on my pizza? No. No, it is not. You will have a very bad time if you do that. I agree with Michael. But please make sure you record it if you do. Are these legendary? That way we can no, all enjoy that's it. That's great. I'm looking for some hot stuff, Michael, this evening. Hot stuff, Michael, tonight. My mouth is, my voice is getting a little tired from all this, this ASMR volume level. One, two, three, five, six, seven mana. Blah, 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 blah. So we can play this. Add five. Search for a thing. Search your sideboard and do the things. I think the first one always has to get lantern, right? But then we have this. So maybe we just get a Vraska's Contempt? Why not both? Oh, I don't know, man. Shut up. I kind of like Eldest Reborn here. What's your name? Who's your Michael? Who's your Michael? Who's your Michael? We're just going to have to discard that, but now we don't have to draw it anymore, so peace out. Whew. My God. My, my voice is hurting now. I got that sad throat. You doing okay? Yeah. What's, chest. what's your lit level? Fairly lit. Fairly lit, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. If I pushed you over a little bit, would you fall? No. Okay. It's good. Then again, you did that pretty slow, so. Well, I'm not your dad, okay? Chamber Century? What is even happening right now?
Apparently our opponent's on a spicy brew as well. Alright, that's that might do the trick. Cause I think we're getting eight here. <clears throat> or nine? Six? Yeah, perfect. Ritual of Snooties. And peace out, Vivs. Big Vivs! Put you in the garbage can. The garbage can. And this is flipping. Man, we're doing we're doing well. I think. Hard to say. Pepper Talk, I use Pepper Smoke on my own fairy. Do I still draw a card? That's not Pepper Talk. That's just magic talk. God. Oh. Thief of Insight. Or Sanity. Where did this come from? Oh, he reeled off of Vivian. Le Vivian. Oui, oui, oui. Yeah, that's a good draw. They're all good draws. They're good draws, Brent. How much mana is this? So seven... One, two, three. We make seven. Four, five, six, seven. No, we have seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. We also don't have to kill that because we have the flip thing. That's a good point. So let's do one of these jobbies and we'll see how much we can get. What is in our sideboard? We also just get like a star of extinction. God, I really feel like the thing we have to get is we always have to get. Uh, let's get to comma. Let's have some fun. We don't have any colored mana, you stupid snitch. Yet. Let's get some. Let's have some fun. Go get that Chrome Lantern, boy. I feel like they're just gonna play Vivian and kill it, though. I do you like Argyle. Really got another. I like Bloodfast. Actually, that's pretty good. What did you say about another? You don't know they have another. Well, I don't, but I also kind of do. You don't. It's not what I do that matters. It's not who I... Wait, it's not who I am that matters. But what I do... Was that from Batman Begins? Please, you know it is. You don't have to be all... I'm somewhat of a scientist myself. I'm something of a scientist myself. I was actually tempted to put that on the soundboard. Because that's just funny. I don't know how apt, I don't know how appropriate it would be or how useful it would be, but it's just a funny, just a funny. Uh, it's a meme. Norman Osborn meme. Mm. Go back home. I'll see you later. Bye. Look at Josh with his mismatched watery graves. God, get your life together. Oh, the Golgari Queen. Destroy a non-land permanent with Commander. I think we can kill anything, I guess. Oh, I like... Oh, we can't kill it. That's sad. I was going to say, I was like, we can Vraska's Contempt this and then get it back. Oh, we're going to get Vivian Reed. Oh, Billy Boy Biscuit Buttery Bobs. Billy Boy Biscuit Buttery Bobs. That's what I said. No regrets. Hashtag no regrets. Don't kill my thing. Oh, this is fine. We're going to demise all the things, dude. This is going to be the turn. This is... Oh, gonna... the old triple YouTube post. It's all the same... It's the same link, so... Okay. You could die. <laughs> yep, that'll do it. Oh, jeez, Louise. Let's get this Vivian Rados. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, and read it. You can get lands with this, right? I hope so, because otherwise we're not hitting anything. Can we also kill something? Nah, not really. I'll just reveal. Yep, nailed it. This is a lot of mana to do nothing with, really. Oh, we got the city's blessing? God, we're so blessed. Hashtag, hashtag blessed.
Eventually, there are going to be uh, dino dinosaurs on your dinosaur tour. Out, am I? Oh, an eldest reborn. I see. I'm tempted to Vraska's contempt of this. Boy, I really wish I had something else on board. Oh well. You know what? What are you going to do? We had a good run, Vivian Reed. We had a good run. Definitely killing this Vraska, though, that's for sure. Should have done it there, but we're not good at this game. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Vraska's contempt kills Vraska. Yeah, that's a real uh, that's a real flavor fail. When Center has shock lands and check lands, is playing one color wrong. It's not wrong, but it's pretty wrong. It ain't wrong, but it ain't right. Our hand is actually terrible right now. We went from doing in real good position to real bad position, and that doesn't help us at all. Nope, sure don't. God, one chromatic lantern, and we just we just bust open. And busting makes me feel good. Busting makes me feel good. That's the story of Bustin. That's the story of Bustin. Sure. Guess we'll get another one. Get all the swamps. How you doing over there, man? You shifting? I'm shifting. You feeling a little shifty? <clears throat> you getting the you getting the alcohol sweats? A little bit. Yeah. You getting a little sweaty? Are you going to be okay? Do you need to... Uh, be fine. Do you want me to call your dad? See if he can come pick you up? Good luck with that. <laughs> he can't even pick himself up. So it looks like they're going to get a Vivian Reed next turn, which is a little scary. Here he goes, whimpering all day. He is whimpering. He's a whimperer. Come on, something good. Yep, that ain't going to do it. I think we're losing this this game. I don't feel great about it. However, I want to be honest with you. A lot of these cards are dead against them. I don't know. I don't know what they were playing. Why would you call yourself? Okay, it's fair. It's a solid comment. So they have online Vivian. They get to draw a card from this, draw a card from this, and draw a card from this. It seems good. And they already have five cards in hand. Okay. However, they actually have to win. The yeah, Vivian Reed's hard to deal with because it just kills our Chromatic Lantern, which shuts off a lot of our deck. You're correct. You are. Thank you. Got him. God, he got so wrecked. I'm about to bust. <gasps> I'm about to bust. Did you know that? Oh, I see what we're doing here. A little drop, eh? Oh, that's nice. We're having a good time. Well. All right, one time. Come on, my turn. One time, Chromatic Lantern. So it has to be two. They have to be two Chromatic Lanterns on top. Looks like a Masterminds and a Swamp. I see. Well then. I'm uncomfortable. You get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage, that player loses the game. I'm going to go to the next game because I don't think we can beat this uh, uh, this amount of advantage here. Probably not. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. All right, we're taking out the Moment of Craving. Well, actually, Moment of Craving is good. We'll take out the Golden Demise. We'll take out Ritual of Suit. Ritual of Zoot Suit. 
feel like duress seems good here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Probably like four duresses, to be quite honest. For Planeswalker McGee over here. You okay? Did you laugh at something? I just heard Felipe and his burp was like, it sounded like he was going to throw up at the end. Gross. It's not okay. It's not okay. Oh, hey, Grumbles. Okay, well, that's nice what you're doing. Appreciate it. Okay, stop. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> the mystery of the green screen. I'll keep this hand all this day. Is a snapper boy. We just need one more land. We need one more land. And then we got it. Do 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 What game is that? Your mom. Your mom. Was it Is that Metroid? It's gotta be Metroid, right? Yeah. He played a swamp. He played a swamp. He played a swamp. Swamp, 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 swamp. Are you guys usually this big? I feel like Mike is taking a lot of risk. I think this is the normal size. William, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I do take up a lot of space in general. It's the story of Mike's life. It's the story of Mike's life. Uh, uh, what the hell are you doing? You're singing the rest of the song. <laughs> without that, the words. Is that how singing works? <laughs> I'm doing the... The Gregorian chant version. Gregorian? Gregorian, yeah. Jesus. Gregorian, Gregorian, Gregorian. Whatever, man. You can tell the tequila is really in full effect here. Well, I'm just going to kill this thing. That's so sad. Is it? So they played Thief and they played Woodland Cemetery. Is that right? I don't know. <sighs> I just work here. Do you work here? What would you say? What would you say you do here exactly? Provide entertainment. Okay, well, you're using that term pretty loosely. I think the chat would disagree with you. Sing us a song, oh Mike man. Song request, put it in. They just did. Give Mike a song to sing. <laughs> Actually, maybe I just play Mirari Conjecture here. Do we play land yet? Oh no, we can go Marari Conjecture. <laughs> nah, we're gonna play Karn here. I like having Karn on empty board here. Mike, sing all my command out of you. How does it start? I forget how it starts. Oh if wait, you hold forget on. I how it starts. I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? All right, that's good enough. No, it's not. That's all you know, though, right? No, I know more. Okay, go on. You're the saddest lot I ever know. Dang it. You're on the right track. Oh, look at this. A chupacabra. On an empty board. So give up. Go home, you through. Somehow I'll make a man out of you. Oh. 
be on mic, you might be brick, 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 brick. Yeah, the chicken noises. Brick, 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 Suffice brick, you don't know brick, the words. Brick, brick. Chicken mic, the dark side of the mic. Brick, 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 brick. Be on mic. Can you be a mic? Be a mic. You must be quick like the Mike Typhoon. Mysterious. Mike sing Waiting for Tonight by Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, I don't know that one. Waiting for Tonight. Oh, <gasps> there you go. You do know that one. You sing it. I don't know anything else, though. Waiting for Tonight. Whoa. <laughs> Waiting for Tonight. Sing Informer by Snow. That's a good one. Sing what? Informer by Snow. I don't know that one. Informer. I like it. Boom, boom, boom. You know that song. Oh, Jesus. I don't know any of the words of that song. Don't you, though? You want me to sing Battle Service Pepper? That's a weird song. <laughs> yeah, how, yeah, but it's totally on brand. I don't try the sun sometime. The Michael B. It shows. I can taste you on my lips and smell you on my something nose. Smell you on my nose? <laughs> Cinnamon and sugary and softly spoken lies. You never know just so how Michael you mic into the other mics. I think you nailed it. <laughs> What problem is for Sandstorm by Drew Sure. That's really all there is to it, right? This is quality content right here. This is I'm not singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. What are you like, six years old, Iron Chef Sammy? <laughs> God, he just age shamed you. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Can I make your Darude version the nigger? Yeah, definitely make it the new ringtone. Have that Mike Darude going for you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing here? Muldrotha? Do you want me to start from the intro? <laughs> there you go. I got the intro too. I'm actually. Just blown away right now. You never know just how you mic through other people's mics. What? No. Where was this? Wait. What happened? Oh, it was a moment of craving. That's worse. I thought this was... Were there two moment of cravings? I thought that was a, I thought that was a master's apprentice acquisition. Saying I want it that way, sure. I want it that way. Tell me Tell why. why. Ain't nothing but a Michael B. <laughs> <laughs> wow, using your own Tell name in the song. Why. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Ain't nothing but a heartache, I think. <sighs> well, Mike wants it that way, so. Mike wants it that way. Here comes Vivian Reed. Eldest Reborn. Well, that is unfortunate. Unfortunados. Oh, that's a good one, though. How about that guy? 9, 10, and we got a man to do everything. 1, 2, 3, 4... All right, well, I'm going to go finish up the rest of the tequila real quick. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's not a lot left. Oh, I bet there is. There's really not. Oh, well. Good luck walking in there. Oh, that's difficult. Oh, God, he's literally... He's a slippy boy right now. Uh, blue, 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 red, red.
thank you. Machank, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'll discard a swamp. Boah. Yeah, he definitely stood up and really felt the tequila there. I want it that way. They are going to be able to get Ravenous Chupacabra, but uh, I guess they're just going to do this in instead. So we're going to uh, deal them a point, I suppose. And we get a land out of this? God, what a, dis what a deal. I will use that ability. How many lands are left in our deck? God, way too many still. So these are the exiled cards that we can get with, with counters on them. I think we're just going to reveal. Hope for two spells. Oh, we got a Duress and a Mastermind's Acquisition. That's a nice boy. So let's Duress you, I suppose. Uh, three lands. Pretty boring. All right. Well. Tell me why. What did I miss? My dad. Oh, tell him I said hi. No. Oh, they're going to get our Niv Mizzet, and then we get to play Eldest Reborn. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. Did they play land this turn? No, because it's just that. that. That was just main, beginning of main phase. All right, this is a little bit of tequila, a little bit of ginger ale, a little bit of water. Water, huh? Yeah. A bold strategy, Cotton. I had to make the fill out the drink. Make the fill out the drink. I hear you. Oh, you're going to kill my Tastes lantern. pretty decent. Wow, that's rude as hell. You're basically a monster. Pretty, very rude. Tell me why. Wow, that's like the perfect draw, too, because it's literally prevents us from getting our Niv Mizzet back. God, that was such a good draw. Oh, butter my biscuits. Oh, that's... Oh. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. I was thinking they just get rid of Nebraska here. Uh, put a card you own with a silver counter. Get this Mastermind's Acquisition. One, two, three, four. I think we just actually... Hunter, why are you shaking, bud? Yeah, we can't bane fire it. What are you shaking for, bud? He probably knew your dad was coming back, so he got sad. I don't know what that means. Just shut up. She's a card for around something. I'm, oh, God, that's not what I want to do. I want to look at my sideboard again. I'm just going to get blood fast here. That should actually give us enough enough gasoline. We're at 26. We can draw a bunch of cards with this. They can't kill anything for quite a bit. And we know he has two lands in hand. So, I think we're okay here. I don't know how we're going to cast the comma when they we don't we just have swamps. So that doesn't seem like the best play. What did they target? Oh, the eldest are born. Sure, I will always get a land with this. Hmm. Seems all right. Thief of Snanity. Oh, perfect. God, we're good at this game. What a time to be alive. Oh, we can actually get this lantern, though. That's pretty sweet. I think we're just going to keep revealing and... Uh... Are you doing okay? Oh, wow. Two, two Vraska's Contempts. Nice. You okay? What did you laugh at there? What did I miss? This hunter, like, put a snoot into the green screen. Oh, a green screen snoot? Mm -hmm. A snoot screen? He's having a bad time right now. What's he scared of? I don't I know don't what's know. going on. Not raining or anything. I'll add 12. See if we can get anything cool here. What are you doing, bro? 
A bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Let's see what we got here. Ooh! Oh, uh, might as well keep going. Okay. Play the land. Actually, we'll just play Belschnickel here. And, yeah, I'm okay with the treasure map, sure. Seems good. Hunter, I have no there idea what goes. you're afraid of, dude. Under the desk. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hunter. Hunter! Hunter! I think we got the fourth contempt in here. Uh, I can take out... I won't take anything. Maybe one treasure map? Nah, I like that a lot. Man, if we could just draw this Josie vest, I'd be way on board with that. Josie! Hey! You know what? Whatever. You can stay. I have no idea what he's playing. I don't it's think it'll go even if you try. It's not loud outside. What? I said I don't think it'll go even if you try. Oh, I'll go. All right. Ain't nothing but a mic be. Tell me why. All right. Oh, land. Thank you. Welcome to Mike Burger, home of the Mike Burger. May I take your order? How you doing over there, man? I still have two double mics. Are you getting a little swifty? I'm always getting swifty. You're not always getting swifty. Sometimes, though. Yes, but that's literally not always. It's always enough, always, and sometimes. I'm sorry, what? Think about it. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't know, man. I really want a moment of craving. That's not it. That's really sad. We're gonna get, we're gonna get smashed. Should have kept that land. God oh, dang it! Oh god, Thief of Sanity is such a good card. It's pretty good if you can't kill it. Uh huh. Every creature is good if you can't kill it, except for like one ones. Like a squire is not great even if you can kill it. Oh, moment of craving. How nice. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mic. Felipe me. text me. We got ourselves a drink stream over here. Who said that? Felipe. It's true. It is true. Oh, this got me a land? Sure. Sure. You got Freddy Bones up in here? Oh, another one, eh? Well, you know what they say. So wait, one, two, three, activate. We make five, six, seven, so we can go five, and then that's it. It's still better to use the mana like that. So we can go Eldest Raborno. We're getting real close to this this Josu. I think we're in good shape here. We have Eldest Raborno, they have two cards. They have they go they go, they draw a card, they go to three. If they play a thing, they go to two, and then they go to one. Oh, it's your boy. It's your dead boy. That's your dead boy. That's your dead child. And discard the last card. Nice. Yeah, this is not. This is not ideal for for old Josh Joshu Vess. So we can make ten mana. We can just kick this. But I think we're just gonna do one of these. Jo uh, yeah, we're doing one of these jobbies. 
and then we're gonna go we're gonna go search for what do we search for here I don't even know bro bro I don't even know bro oh actually what do we get here I don't even know man nothing I don't even care I ain't even doing it I have nothing I really want to search for so I'm just gonna pass huh I'd rather save it until I know what I need but like next turn we're gonna get this Moldrotha for f oh the Moldrotha's gone I guess we just get Thief of Sanity and then I was gonna say we, we recast this with Moldrotha rude that is oh. rude that was a hundred foot you're a hundred foot yeah we didn't search because we don't know what we need like I have no idea what I want to get I mean, we can get, like, a threat, but, like, this is going to pop, and we're just going to get, like, oh, uh, mm, dang it, can't kick it, biscuits. Yeah, we're just going to get Thief Sanity here. <sighs> See, now I'm going to get something. Uh, one, two, three, which adds six mana, so we can actually add 12 mana. God, it's really tempting to just get Argyle's Blood Fast. We can also just get Bells and Lock, which seems good too. They have no cards in hand. Yeah, I like Bells and Lock. Bizzles and Lock. Bizzle for shizzle. I guess we can go um one and then use these two which is probably better just play this guy now we get two lands in case we draw something like a moment of tireless tractor thank you so much for the resub welcome back i have nothing to say oh and see then we can just play this it's perfect it's the perfect turn now they're in top deck mode so that's nice although they do get two top decks we have a bane fire on the board yes was that their Oh, the moment of craving was ours. I was like, how did they kill that? There were that's funny because they also put a moment of craving in the graveyards. So there were two moment of cravings in the top three that they hit with Oh my god. Wow. That's real good. I'm cringing so hard right now. Oh my god. How is that real? Oh, I you did and I played the land into it because I'm terrible. Oh god. I'm so mad. No, oh, that's pretty bad. It's terrible. I played the land because I was like, well, I want to be able to increase the Cabal Strongholds, but yeah, that was terrible. That was terrible. Wow, that was the best. That was an insane top deck. <laughs> eh? Sinister Sabotage. Wow. Eldest Reborn into Sinister Sabotage. Seems pretty good. And now what do they get back here? Bells and Lock, probably? Yeah, probably. Crying out loud. Well, it's not a Planeswalker, I guess. Jesus. What a beating. So all we had to, what would we have to do to make that go differently? Like, we could have held onto the land, obviously. That was pretty bad. But was there anything to, to avoid the Eldest Reborn? Okay, they just hit a dis disinformation campaign. That's fascinating. That's good because you don't have any cards in hand. All right. However, if we were able to hold the Vraska's Contempt, we could easily get rid of this guy and gain two life. What are we hoping to even draw here? It's actually decent. That leads to good draws. All right, we're going to hope that they don't hit anything, and then maybe we can hit something good after that. No Assassin's Trophy, Vivian Reed, Vraska. None of those three things. Oh, you get to look because you have Search for Vraska. Yeah, this game just, wow, this game just spiraled out of control from the one Eldest Reborn. Okay, okay. That's not bad. clearly this deck is very susceptible to just having your chromatic lantern crushed yeah it's a pretty 
pretty the linchpin of your whole deck. Yeah, it definitely is. I'm actually surprised you have not insta-killed it here. <sighs> I guess we should have played the land, right? Because if they disc... I, I guess they didn't... I don't know. I don't even know what's going on here. Oh, I usually don't just play lanterns to the field. I got the expert over here. <laughs> it's like, I mean, yeah, it's not a great strategy, but like, I don't know. I, we could we put our utility, but I mean, they have infinite card discard. So like, if they play disinformation campaign, if they play, um, what's the other one? Thought erasure, which they've shown us. Like, there's tons of ways they can just get it out of our hand. So. I guess we're playing treasure map here. And yeah, I'll just play the land. That's fine. Can't make me discard with if you don't have anything. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's just not. I mean, we have to dodge like two planeswalkers. We didn't see Thrashing Brontodon, so we had to dodge like the two planeswalkers. But I mean, I think our odds of. Yeah, this this game is this these are both grindy decks. God, can we just like bounce all the permanents to the hand so we can get our bell Belschnickel back? They also have six cards. Remember when they had no cards? Man, those were the days. Which means they haven't drawn lands. Lands they've drawn like a bunch of heaters. It's been all heaters. Mono heaters dot deck over here. All right, we're going to go do one of these jobberinos. Kill our response. Actually, pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna keep that. What do we get back first? Instant. Instant's pretty good. Uh, blue. One, two. Just have the three. Oh no! Eh, it doesn't matter. I guess we just had a different blue. What are we getting back? Verasca's contempt. Yeah, definitely Verasca's contempt. We also have to win this match in like three minutes, which is kind of sad. We have to exile our own demon lord. Demon demon lord. That was hard. English is hard. I agree. All right. Yeah, you could definitely run Watery Graves and uh, uh, Blood Crypts from the next set if you want to uh, keep your, your Cabal strong. Oh, it's, no, it's each basic swamp you control. So yeah, that does make a difference, actually. Yeah, it's much worse. Man, I wonder why. I wonder why. That seems like a really weird distinction that, like, would be too broken if you have, like, a bunch of black shock lands and it's just, like, adding... I think yeah. it'd be fine. Oh. <sighs> Uh, that's actually fine. Sure. It's weird that it is basic swamp though. Like that's not super common. So I'm oh, I'm not surprised that it's. I think Cabal is fine in this deck. Like it adds a million mana. How you doing over there, man? It's a loud. Uh, nope. Bottom. I really wish we didn't have a timer here because we're just playing the... I'm just going to have six here. I have no responses, so... 
Yep, had a feeling. Uh, one, two, three. Just use the mana in the pool, come on. Come on, two busted things. Treasure map and a duress, it looks like. Maybe not. Oh, interesting, you didn't let me have the duress. That's kind of funny. It's also kind of funny that, uh, yeah, puts you on top, sure. All right, I mean, I'm gonna have six here. I have no response. Actually, we do have eight response, so. We can respond to the attacking. Play arena, no timer. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Also, no cube drafts. No ultimate masters drafts, no modern, no legacy. But other than that. Other than that, basically the same. Well. Yeah, you can have six. No, I can't have six. Oh, he did. It, it forces the search too. That's terrible. Oh my god. Yeah, this really ran away with things. I don't. I, this. God, I love all the death, but I don't know how he wins with some of his decks sometimes. I mean, we can bane fire them if we find a mastermind's acquisition. But I think the odds of that are pretty slim. One, two, three. Uh, put a card. No, it's just a duress. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, just waste the mana. We take three. We discard a card. We don't have a card. So I, I don't know. Not in terrible shape here. We're not in great shape, but... Oh boy, this is, this is tiring. One more time. And one time. Nice. Nice. Swampu. So we take three, four, five next turn. We're not dead. Might as well be, though. What do they get back it's here? good. Brontodon? Thief of Sanity, sure. I think we've kept this for way too long. But... I'm pretty sure if we can just draw a Banefire, we might be able to win. But we might not even have enough mana for that, so. Yeah, because we need Surge plus Banefire because it's not in the main deck. I know, Michael. But we have a lot. We have like 10. So each one of these makes 10 for 6, so we'd have 24. We'd actually have uh, probably enough. Now we'd have more. One time. Oh, nope, that ain't going to do it. All right. Well, on that note, I, you know, I love this deck. I think this deck is fantastic, and I would definitely play it in paper, but it feels like, I mean, you probably actually have to be more proficient for it as well. So, um, yeah, deck is sweet. It's Ollie and Trozzi's Brew. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon. Uh, you can check meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off and free shipping if you want to go that route. You uh, you get something, you help the stream out, everybody wins. You can also check out Aaron Kane custom deck boxes. His link is in the description below. His work is fantastic. And if you use promo code Frank, you will get 10% off. So be sure to do that. Be sure to check out his page. His stuff is awesome if you're looking for like real wooden deck boxes or cube boxes or anything like that. They're, it's real sweet. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, you can find the deck list in the description below if you guys are interested. Again, it's from Ian Trazi, who I do the Freshly Brewed podcast with. So you can check that out as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons.